These are the six ways to make Barcelona great again. Second in the league, quarterfinals in Europe and a bit of domestic silverware would represent a pretty good season for most clubs. But for Barcelona, it's a disaster. Especially when Real Madrid have won the lot again. Found out tactically in Europe, over-reliant on the front three and with a squad that is full of expensive underperforming signings, the club will need Ernesto Valverde to hit the ground running if they are to topple their hated rivals. Tactically, Valverde is a good fit and will play a style of football that should keep the fans happy, but he's got to do more than just that to make this team a great one. Smash Real Madrid early. Barca's recent record against Real Madrid might be as good as it was when Pep was in charge, but it's still pretty even over the last few seasons. However, with the clubs meeting once in pre-season and then twice in the Supercopa in August, Valverde has a chance to bloody Zidane's nose and get the season off to a flyer. Valverde might have played for Barca, but he isn't a legend like Pep or Enrique and will still have to work hard to impress the squad and the fans to ensure that he doesn't end up like Gerardo Martino. Sticking one on Madrid and winning a trophy early doors would do him no harm at all. Buy a right back. Alex Vidal's Barcelona career has been a disaster. From signing in the middle of a transfer embargo to falling out with Luis Enrique and then dislocating his ankle, he's been miserable. And he also managed to piss off a lot of his teammates by not turning up at a golden boot dinner for Luis Suarez. Sergio Roberto has done a decent job playing out of position, but it would be a shame if he didn't develop as a midfielder. Hector Bellerin is repeatedly linked with a return, but his new contract at Arsenal means that probably won't happen. Valencia's Portuguese international João Cancelo and Roma's Bruno Perez have been scouted and Serge Aurier is constantly linked, but as he can't help causing havoc off the pitch, then that probably won't happen either. If we were putting money on it, we reckon Cancelo will arrive for around 30 million. Make difficult decisions. Iniesta, Piquet and Busquets would probably all make it into an all-time Barcelona eleven, but none of them have had good individual seasons. As club captain, Iniesta will probably sign another contract that includes coaching at La Masia and is a good man to have around the squad, but he can't be relied on as a constant creative force. Busquets struggled with Luis Enrique's more direct style of play and his stats and influence have dwindled in the last few seasons. As a controller, there are few better but he's not mobile enough to protect the defence and will need a possession-based game to thrive again. Piquet should be doing everything to try and become the next Barca captain, but he's had an error-strewn season, was woeful in Paris and Turin, and seems to be going through the motions at times. Valverde needs to make it clear to Busquets and Piquet in particular that they need to raise their games to remain in the starting eleven. Nobody can be undroppable. Improve Messi Look, we haven't lost the plot, we're fully aware he's had another 50-goal season and scored a cup-winning hat-trick, but Valverde has gone on record as saying he wants to improve him, and we presume he means tactically. Historically, his teams have mostly played a 4-2-3-1 formation, and if he implements that at Barca, it would probably see Messi playing the number 10 role behind Luis Suarez. He's also known for liking to control the ball more than Enrique, and although Messi has scored plenty under Lucho, a return to a Pep-style possession system would give the midfield more responsibility and allow Messi more room to operate in. And if he means technically, then he may as well quit now. More goals from midfield. The reliance on Messi, Suarez and Neymar has been widely documented. And even if that is the result of tactics, then the midfielders still need to take a look at themselves. Only even Rakitic reached double figures in all competitions, and this is one area of the team they have to spend money on. Marco Verratti and Oriol Romeu have been targeted to come in and run things from the base of midfield. And while they might not add goals individually, they would provide a platform for a free-running, goal-scoring midfielder. Deli Alli has been linked with the club and his attitude, belief and goal-scoring ability would make him a great addition. Real also won him though, and it's about time Barca won a big head-to-head -head transfer battle with Los Blancos. Sort out the transfer policy. Last summer was Robert Fernandez's first big foray into the transfer market since replacing Andoni Subicereta as sporting director. But despite being praised for bringing in highly rated players for decent fees, none of them has so far been a success. Andre Gomez, Lucas Digne, Samuel Mtiti and Denis Suarez are all young and gifted footballers and apart from Suarez, will still be getting used to the scale of the club. But we'll find out if they have the personality to succeed. With Arda Turan and Vidal both also considered failures, this summer is huge for Fernandez and Barca. They need to spend to ensure Real don't pull away from them, but they can't afford to spend badly again. Those were the six ways Barcelona can become great again. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe.